Hi everyone, it's the Comic Fan Man here coming at you with another video. And in today's video, we're taking a look at Bobby the Barbarian and Uni the Unicorn. From the 40th anniversary Dungeons and Dragons cartoon figures released by Hasbro. And um, as you can see, he comes with his club and he comes with a D12 Dungeons and Dragons dice. Uh, this is very cool. I was really happy to see that they released all these dice with these figures. I think it's a really nice um, callback to the fact that they're all Dungeons and Dragons heroes and uh, it ties it to the Dungeons and Dragons game itself, um, which is really, really neat. And again, I'm just using this background that came with Avenger and Dungeon Master, which I also think is very cool because it's an exact one for one from the opening and end credits of the cartoon um, of the uh, of the carnival scene uh, where they go into the Dungeons and Dragons ride. Um, so that's really neat. And I think this is a you can actually use this um, if you want to on the other side to make a um, Dungeons and Dragons uh, Dungeon Master screen. Uh, I think you could use this very easily to make one of those. All right, so let's take a look at Bobby the Barbarian. All right, so here's Bobby the Barbarian, very much looking like the um, son of He-Man. He's got um, all of his things. The club is really nice. It uh, looks like it was sculpted directly from the cartoon, which is neat. And Bobby here looks... Very cool. Um, for such a small figure, uh, they did keep up all of the articulation. Double knees, double elbows. And his face is a perfect recreation of that cartoon animation look. Uh, with the Viking horn helmet and everything. And yeah, look, look the harness is really cool. The studded harness with the fuzzy pants, very much in the same style as, as uh, like He-Man, um, which I wouldn't be surprised if that's how they, that was what they used to uh, style this uh, figure, this uh, hero in the, in the cartoon. Very, very cool. Uh, he's got his little muscles, his little guns here. Really cool. Um, again, the harness, Everything on here, the paint job, even the little freckles on his cheek is a perfect, uh, really, really well done paint job on this figure. Um, so I'm really, really enjoying this. Let's now have a look at Uni. All right, so Uni, very much like the Dungeon Master, is just a little statue. The only thing that articulates is his head, is his, is her head. Sorry, I keep keep referring to Uni as a he for some reason, but Uni is a Uni is a girl. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it's really cool. Very nice, one for one, again, of the animation, and um, outside of the lack of articulation and all the legs and all, I think this is very much. I think Hasbro really did a very nice job to mimic the quality of like Super 7 when it comes to doing recreating cartoon characters in toy form. I think they really really did a great job with this with this series. All right, so lining him up with a Masterverse New Eternia He-Man here, <laughs> as you can see, they can definitely be father and son, same helmet style, same kind of look with the chest harness here. Yeah, I think this is really neat. I think this works out really well uh, to be like a father and son duo. Or, you know, let's say Bobby aged up in the world of Dungeons and Dragons and turns into this. Really, really cool. Um, but as you can see, yeah, he, the size, the size difference is massive between these uh, six inch scale figures. He's not six inch, he's about three maybe, 
but uh, between the scale of this and the and Masterverse is definitely a huge difference. But uh, but yeah, I like it. I think it, I think it's actually a pretty neat look with the both of these. And of course, putting him alongside my custom-made king of the barbarians, uh, Conan. Um, yeah, I think this looks also really, really cool. Definitely looks like he could be part of that tribe. Um, this is the Fight the Frozen Batman body with the Vicron head. And yeah, I think it looks really, really good. Um, again, you know, the McFarlane figures are in the 7-inch scale. So again, he would... Outside of just being a regular child, he would definitely be a child in any of these kind of universes. But uh, yeah, I think it looks really, really cool. Another barbarian style hero for Bobby to line up with. And here we have him alongside Dungeon Master, uh, the one figure in this series that he is actually bigger than, um, and, and Uni. And yeah, I really, really, I, I think this is such a fantastic series. Um, you know, I know they got a lot of gripe over limited articulation and, and stuff breaking. And yes, I can definitely see where things could break if you're not careful. Um, but one thing that I did was I preheated them in hot water um, just so that uh, they don't break when I move them around. And that seems to work. Um, again, it's not boiling water. It's just regular uh, hot water from the tap. And it, it's worked just fine. I haven't had any problems with breakages or anything like that. So if you enjoyed this look at Bobby the Barbarian from the 40th anniversary Dungeons & Dragons cartoon series, please give me a like and subscribe. And look forward to whatever we got coming in the next video. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye now.